At the core of Saab's oceanic range is its A-26 Blerkinja class submarine. Construction of the first A-26 took place over a decade ago, and the program has faced severe delays and cost overruns, with first delivery now expected to take place in 2031 and second delivery to the Swedish Navy in 2033. The sub is one of the options for Poland's Orca submarine program, but at the time of making this video, the country has yet to choose a winning bid. Nonetheless, we take a look at the A-26 as acquired by the Swedish Navy, including terms of the deal, capabilities of the vessel, and problems with the program. At the moment, Saab is building two Blekinja class A-26 submarines for the Royal Swedish Navy, and the defense firm says that the vessel's new capabilities are set to define the next era of submarine development. According to Naval News, the program actually dates back to a 2010 decision by the Swedish government to replace its two Söderman-Land class submarines. Back then, there was a planned delivery for 2018 and 2019. However, things would change and a deal was only signed in 2015. So, what are the specifics of the A-26? Well, each vessel's submerged displacement is 2,100 tons with a length of 66.1 meters. Diving depth is 200 meters and the sub is set to have a crew of 35. The submarine uses the Stirling Air Independent Propulsion System that enables underwater operations for several weeks without having to surface. The technology is said to be cost-effective in comparison to other air-independent technologies, such as fuel cells and nuclear power, both of which are highly complex and difficult to manage. Here is what Saab markets as the A26's other key selling points. Claimed to be one of the most unique design features of the Blekinja class submarine is its multi-mission portal. This is a configurable system that allows the launch and retrieval of diverse mission payloads, such as special forces, as well as manned and unmanned vehicles. It's a pretty cool concept and will indeed allow for increased operational versatility. The A-26 will also be a strong intelligence gathering platform as it can operate independently and in tandem with Saab's autonomous ocean drone and other underwater uncrewed vehicles. The submarine is capable of resting on the seabed itself, and Saab promises a high operational availability. For weaponry, torpedoes will be the main armament and will see four 533mm torpedo tubes that'll use Torpedo 62s and the new heavyweight Torpedo 63s. There will also be two 400mm torpedo tubes that'll use the Torped 47. Coming from Saab, these are classified as lightweight torpedoes. The Stirling system will make the A-26 very stealthy and difficult to detect. The submarine's modular design also promises availability, with efficient through-life upgrades and adaptations and low life cycle costs. In Saab's own marketing material, it states that the A-26 is able to operate in most oceans worldwide, from the Arctic to tropical waters. However, Saab states that it is, quote, fundamentally optimized for the shallow and complicated waters found in the Baltic Sea. The Baltic Sea has an average depth of just 55 meters, and it is called a body of water like no other on the planet. Saab states, it is the world's largest area of brackish water, and its narrow entry point, thousands of small islands and unpredictable floor make it a challenge for navigation. In November 2024, Brigadier General Patrick Garsten, Deputy Chief of the Swedish Navy, was quoted as saying, The Baltic Sea is in many ways a very special and unique sea. The bottom topography is quite varied. Over the year, the salinity and temperature also vary. All these factors affect how sounds propagate, and the propagation of sound is crucial for us when searching for submarines and mines. This, of course, affects the material and equipment we need to carry out our task. With Saab marketing the A-26 as being designed specifically for operations in this body of water, it is clearly hoping for customers from this region, such as Poland. But while Saab is promising a lot with the A-26, the first delivery has yet to take place and will be at least another six or so years away. Indeed, the construction phase for the A-26 officially began in September 2015 at the Saab Kokums shipyard. 
This followed the official contract signing between Saab and the Swedish Defence Materiel Administration on June 30th of the same year. The deal will see Saab construct, verify and deliver two new Type A26 submarines to a total order value of $918 million. The first delivery was to be in 2022, and so with a revised first delivery date of 2031, the program is currently almost 10 years behind schedule, with a possibility of things slipping even further. So what have been the reasons behind the delays? Well, first of all, Sweden was hoping to secure an export order no later than June 2019. This would have injected much-needed funding into the program to ensure timely development and construction. However, this never materialized and Sweden is still looking for an international partner. The budget for the A26 has thus more than doubled from the original price tag. Naval News states that another part of the delay could be the poor state of the Kokkum's submarine yard, which has not built a new submarine since the mid-1990s. Know-how at the submarine yard has been retained to some extent thanks to work on other subs for Australia, Singapore and even Sweden. However, a certain amount of delays and struggles may be the result of restarting production of a completely brand new class. And so we can only hope that the A26 will be worth the wait. Now, on one hand, Poland may look at these delays and be put off by the risk of not getting new subs in a timely manner. However, the purchase of the A26 from a country like Poland could mean that Saab gets even more financial backing to strengthen its delivery timeline and schedule. Additionally, Poland would be doing a lot of its own work at its own facilities, helping to prevent external delays. But what do you think of the A26, its capabilities and its unfortunate delays? Let us know by leaving a comment.